Hello students, welcome back to my channel CGAT Maths. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss an example based on orthogonal trajectories of family of curves. So we are discussing a polar curve. Students, what is orthogonal trajectory? So what is orthogonal trajectory? So before discussing orthogonal trajectory, just look at, I will give a simple example here. So we know that x square plus y square is equal to a square. So it represent a, represent a equation of a circle with the center at origin 0, 0 and radius a units. And we also know y is equal to mx. y is equal to mx is a straight line. Okay. y is equal to mx is a one straight line. y is equal to mx is a straight line and passing through origins. Passing through a origin. Student, here a is a constant, here m is a constant. So, here if I, A is a constant, now we, we call it as a what? It is a equation of a circle. If we vary the value of A, for A is equal to 0, you will get just point circle. For A is equal to 0, you will get point circle. For A is equal to 1, you will get a unit circle. For A is equal to 2, you will get a, a circle with a radius 2. And so on. For a different value of A, the circle equation becomes a family of concentric circles. Similarly, y is equal to mx is a line. By taking the different value of m, it represents a family of straight lines passing through the origin. For, y, for m is equal to 0, you will get y is equal to 0 is equation of x axis. Take m is equal to 1, you will get y is equal to x is this passing through the origin. If you take m is equal to minus 1, is this line. So, before it is just a circle, okay, by varying the value of a, it will become a family. Here also, it just represents a general form of a. Uh, straight line passing through the origin. This is a equation of a circle, general form of equation of a circle having center 0, 0 and radius a units. When you change the value of a, both becomes a family. Okay. So now let us come back to the what, what is orthogonal trajectory. Okay. I will take a one member from one member means for a different uh, value of a. For, for example, a is equal to 1, you will get one member. Here m is equal to 1, you will get one member. Okay. So I am taking one member from this family okay, and one member from this family. Okay. So and observe. So what is the definition of orthogonal trajectory? So each member, each member of one family intersect orthogonally to the every member of other family, then only we say that these two families are orthogonal trajectory to each other. For example, just look at, this is one circle, this is another circle, this is another circle. So I will take, there are different lines passing through the origin. Okay, I will take this point. This point, I am taking this circle as well as a line. Okay. Students, you just concentrate. Okay. So for a circle, for a circle, okay, let us take this is some point P. Okay. So if I draw a tangent at this point, okay, this, this point, so this is, okay, if uh, any line passing through the origin, okay, 
or a tangent drawn at any point on the circle is perpendicular to the what line passing through the what center athwa you ee point alli one tangent na draw madidre ee ee one point mukantara yavude one line ee point muttu center mukantara pass aitu antandre ee eradu tangent draw tangent ya point alli draw madidre tangent matte aa line enagirutha andre perpendicular line so ella cases alli idu prove aguthada especially if i take this day fine now let me come back to the what example Now let us discuss. So to find out orthogonal trajectory, let us go step by step. First, what we need to do is take log on both sides. So this will become log of 2a by r is equal to log of 1 minus cos theta. Okay. So now apply the laws of logarithm log m by n. Students, we know that log m by n is equal to log m minus log n. Just use it log 2a minus log r is equal to here you can write as it is we don't have a formula for log of a sum or difference of two functions just write 1 minus cos t okay now next what we need to do is we need to differentiate this differentiate r with respect to theta so this is 2a is constant log of 2a is constant by differentiating you will get 0 so log r is 1 by r into dr by d theta is equal to log of 1 minus cos theta is 1 by 1 minus cos okay. fine so now after getting this step what we need to do is we need to log of 1 minus cos theta is 1 by 1 minus cos theta again differentiation of 1 is 0 again differentiation of minus cos theta is this is cos theta is minus sin theta so minus minus plus you will get 1 by r dr by d theta is equal to this is sin theta divided by 1 minus cos theta Fine. After getting this step, so what we need to do? That is very important one. Okay. So what we need to do is very simple. Okay. We need to uh, replace. What do we need to replace? We need to replace this uh, dr by d theta by dr by d theta by minus r square into d theta by dr. So by replacing, so what will happen? So this is minus 1 by r, keep it as it is. So dr by d theta is minus r square into d theta by dr is equal to this is sin theta divided by 1 minus cos theta okay fine now here 1 r and r get cancelled so what is remaining what is remaining so minus minus plus you will get r into 
d theta by dr is equal to you see sin theta divided by 1 minus cos theta. Students, this is a differential equation. Okay, this is a differential equation. Okay, we need to solve this differential equation. So, how do you solve this differential equation? By using variable separable method. You people already aware that what is the standard form of variable separable is p d x plus q d y is equal to 0. Okay, here the coefficient of d x should be function of x coefficient of dy should be function of y. Here it is in terms of r and theta. Just you can write p d r plus q d theta is equal to 0. So dr coefficient should be containing function of r and d theta coefficient should contain function of theta. So you need to separate in such a way that first you can first you can keep it First, you can keep it is r as it is and d theta as it is. You cross multiply dr. So, this is sin theta divided by 1 minus cos theta is as it is into dr. Now, you will confirm yourself the dr coefficient should be containing only function of r only because it is a function of theta and d theta coefficient is function of theta but it is function of r just you cross multiply you will get the result so you keep it d theta as it is here you cross multiply theta you will get 1 minus cos theta divided by sin theta so you cross multiply r you will get 1 by r into dr okay So, first you can write this term uh, 1 by r into dr minus transform it. You get 1 minus cos theta divided by sin theta into d theta is equal to 0. Now, which is in variable separable form, still you can write it as 1 by r into dr. 1 minus cos theta is you know that 2 sin square theta by 2 and uh, sin theta is uh, you will get uh, 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2. These are the half angle formula just I have used here. 1 sin square theta by 2 sin square theta by 2 2 to get cancel. So what is remaining students here? 1 by r into dr minus 1 sin theta by 2 left sin theta by 2 divided by cos theta by 2 is tan theta by 2 into d theta is equal to 0. So now the variables are separated. So what you need to do is just you can integrate it. So by integration, so what will happen by integration? Integrate it. Integration of 1 by r into dr minus integration of tan theta by 2 into d theta is equal to the constant of integration is taken as some log c. So integration of 1 by r dr is log log of r minus this is tan of theta by 2 is tan theta by 2 integration is This is two times of log of secant theta by is equal to log c. So, how I have written? Just you can take, for example, what is the differentiation of log of secant theta by 2? Log of secant theta by 2 differentiation is 1 by secant theta by 2 again uh, differentiation of secant theta by 2 is secant theta by 2 into tan theta by 2 into 1 by 2 so secant theta by 2 secant theta by 2 get cancel you will get 1 by 2 times of tan theta by 2 so i have taken 2 okay so that is 2 log of secant theta by 2 is equal to log c 
So further log r minus this is log of secant theta by 2 whole square that is the people are already aware n log m is equal to log m raised to n is equal to log c so log m minus log n is log of m by n r by this is secant square theta by 2 secant theta by 2 whole square is secant square theta by 2 is equal to log c r this is r divided by secant square theta by 2 is equal to r simply you can write r is equal to some c secant square theta by 2 is the is the solution solution of which equation solution of the equation this is r d theta by dr is equal to sin theta divided by 1 minus cos so and you just confirm yourself that c is r is equal to c secant square theta by 2 is the orthogonal trajectory of the given family that is uh, is of given equation 2a by r is equal to 1 minus cos theta okay some others may also go with this uh, value that is they have written 1 minus sin theta is cosec theta minus cos by sin is cot theta they have integrated in the manner and uh, they have put in the what their fashion okay. thank you so much for watching we'll meet in the next video today